Greetings, everybody. Brother Stu here. Back to Baba Videos. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Another day he has added unto our life. We we'll acknowledge the Lord in all our ways. He may direct our path and in all things he alone get the glory. We're going to do this video by the grace of God. This message in love to the, the pride community. We're going to start our lesson be found in Proverbs chapter 16, beginning at verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a hearty spirit, a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Proverbs 29 and verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. And we're going to look at another scripture in Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 6. Beginning at verse 16. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that deviceth wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. There are many verses in the word of God that talks about the calamity that is associated with the proud. As we can see that this community, your community have chosen to use this term pride parade, pride march. You know, you took the the colors of the token of the covenant between God and man and using it as your banner for pride. And as you can look in the word of God that pride is not a good thing. And you are proud to parade this according to the word of God, an abomination and an unnatural behavior to the world. And that is, that is exactly what it is. It is pride. Pride have uh, caused you to not to be concerned with the things of God. It has caused you to parade this pride, this haughtiness, throughout the streets, throughout the communities, or throughout social media, to the point where you want to subject everyone to your way of thinking and not allowing others to express themselves, even when it's not directly challenging you, just to show that, okay, that is your choice and lifestyle and there's many others who do not agree with that same lifestyle and want to promote what they believe, which may differ from yours. And you want to silence that. And that is a form of pride. Pride is selfish. Pride is self-centered. And the word of God says, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the lowly. So that's why it is it is amazing for some people who profess to be Christians and who profess to be believers who are a part of this lifestyle and almost arrogantly what it is what it is pridefully is saying making God accept it and say that oh God is in support of it 
and God is is pleased with it because it's about whatever title you want to associate or whatever terms you want to associate with it. Oh, it's about love and God is love and he's okay with this as long as it's love. And But then you call your, your march and your community pride. And the scripture says these six things God hate. Number one was a proud look. Number number two, and what I've just read, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. God resisteth the proud and giveth grace unto the lowly. You're saying God is in support of this, but actually God is resisting it because it's, it's pride. Is pride. I saw on a ticker, a news ticker, there was a straight march. If I'm saying it, yeah, a, a, a straight pride march in Boston, Massachusetts, where people who were celebrating their straightness, the natural relationship between man and woman, they was they were celebrating that. They 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 were celebrating that. And the people of the pride community took offense to it. Why? You, you celebrate your lifestyle. They are celebrating their lifestyle. That had nothing to do with you. That, had, that wasn't against you. If you can promote yours, why can't we be happy for our lifestyle of straightness? You see, that's the thing. It's as you see it everywhere, even on YouTube, on social media. And I'm on YouTube. They can complain and there's so many restrictions. Once you say something against or in contrast, regardless of it's in love and meekness or however the presentation is presented. It's either flagged or dismissed or taken down. Just, just because. So it's like I said before. The there's a term we say you want your cake and eat it too. You have fought, and the 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 deceived governments of the world have accommodated your behavior, your lifestyle. So be it. But then that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Now you want those that still have the freedom to express themselves in contrast to your choice of lifestyle behavior to not to be able to say anything or to even express that. And that's wrong. And that's wrong. That's 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 pride. Because pride is about it's all about me and nobody else. The pride of man shall bring him low. And we've seen it today. And many, many examples of it. Now I can go into to, to, to Leviticus. I can go into all the scriptures explaining it. But the thing is, a lot of you all know those scriptures. A lot of you know what the word of God says against this. And how it speaks about this. And 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 but when you're when you're dull of hearing and and come up with your own formulation, let's get let me get this scripture here in Proverbs again. This is why you don't want to hear. You know what the book says, so you either come up with your own interpretation, or you like they have now the Queen James Bible, which reverses everything to accommodate your lifestyle. Here is Proverbs chapter 30, beginning at verse 11. Listen at the words of Adger, 
the son of Jekai. And there is a, and he starts by saying, there is a generation that curses their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Let me part, pause there for a minute. This word right here is not just for the for the the pride community, the LGBTQ. I don't know how many other letters that are part of that movement, but this is this is talking about everything. There is a generation that curses their father. That's happening now. People don't the the, the generation now don't respect their mom, don't respect their dad. They don't respect no type of authority. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. This is it today. It's it's all about me. It, it's how I view myself. It's however I view the world. It's however I, I, I. It's it, no one, everyone has their own sense of, you know, and yet it's not washed from their filthiness. We can we tell you that the fall of man and we tell you how the redemption of man and the process based on the word of God. Yet people say, ah, I'm OK. I don't have to do all that. It's about how I how I see it. This individualism, this selfism, that's the word I'm looking for, this this growing trend of selfism. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords. Oh, look, look at the language of the, of, the, of the scriptures. The teeth are like swords. You know, you know, a sword is sharp. It cuts. And that's how the mouth of these people are. Not just the LGBT community, people that don't want to accept and honor the Most High God with their lives. And their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Look who they go after. Glory to God. They go after the less fortunate. That's, that's the work of the enemy. It, it, this, you know, I'm gonna stop. The, I'm gonna stop the video here. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. You know, you call your movement pride, something that, as as if that is a good thing, but it's not. Pride is 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 arrogant. Pride is haughty. You know, but um. Pray for us. We mean well in the name of Jesus Christ. It's been a while. We don't want to remember all the youth that have gone back to these institutions called school. That we please pray much for them because it's not getting any better. The system is getting worse and worse. And we have to pray to the Most High God and also be more active in our children's lives that we must deprogram and program the things of God in them because these schools, these these systems and institutions are not going to do it. So pray for us. You know, we have a desire for our children that, you know, but we just put it, put it like there, put it, put it out there like that. Um, but um, God is able. And he knows what he's doing. So we just got to trust him and wait on him. God bless you all. Peace be unto you.